Today we're going to show you a brand new community and one of the builders is Highland Homes. What I love about this builder is that they have move-in ready homes and they also have an option where you could pick your lot, pick their floor plan, and pick the interior designs for the mid $300,000 price range. Are you interested? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz. I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Our passion is helping people evolve in real estate so we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurant shops, and so much more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are back in one of my favorite places, Davenport, Florida, where it's up and coming, a lot of new construction, a lot of different commercial developments. So this community is the Estonia community. Now it's built up of several different builders, but today we're gonna show you Highland Homes. We're gonna check out their Shelby floor plan, which I really like because you could either have it a three bedroom with an office or as a four bedroom. It's two and a half bath, two car garage, 2,009 square feet, and they have different lots. The price, the base price is gonna start in the $380,000 range. And like I said, you can either take a move-in ready home or you can build from the ground up and just customize it to how you want to make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where i'll go over all of the down payment closing costs what they are currently offering as far as incentives so let's begin your real estate evolution tour All right, so we're entering the house and what I love so far is that you are entering a long hallway. You come in and you can't even see the kitchen or the dining area. I have some clients that they said, I don't want somebody to see that I'm cooking in the kitchen, right? So there's definitely dimension to this property. So like I said, the way this model is set up is that it's gonna be three bedroom and an office, which is to my left. You have the French doors, but you can also, instead of the office, you can make it a fourth bedroom. So let's go check it out. Okay, so as I mentioned, you have the double French doors. I love an office just like this with, you can close it, but you can still see who's coming in, who's coming out, because you already know you gotta see all of that stuff. That's very important. So this is the office. This is a great size space. Um, I'll have the dimensions for you in just a little bit. I have to read them. I cannot remember it off the top of my head, but let's just call this the office or bedroom number one. Faces the front of the house. You have a lot of natural light coming in. It's super sunny today in Davenport Florida but you can if you're gonna have this as an office you can have it just set up like this or even um, the opposite way where you're looking out the window but I actually really like it like this you have the ceiling fan but again this is not gonna come with the ceiling fan it's gonna come pre-wired for a ceiling fan but it doesn't come with the ceiling fan so this is the office slash bedroom number one and let's continue the tour so I'm curious, would you guys use this house, this room as a office or the fourth bedroom? Let me know in the comments. So let's go check out bedroom number two. So just 
as an FYI, to the right, we're gonna have this half bathroom. The half bathroom is literally just that. It has a pocket door, it has a sink, and then it has the toilet. Here is the pocket door. You guys know I love pocket doors. It just um, maximizes the space, okay? And then to my left, we're gonna have bedroom number two, and then there's a Jack and Jill bathroom that connects with bedroom number three. So let's go see bedroom number two. Okay, so bedroom number two, all the bedrooms are gonna get half carpet, but if you wanna build from the ground up, you could always choose the option to not have the carpet and just the regular flooring that you're gonna have in the um, main home, okay? So we have two doors, foldable doors to the closet. It is pretty deep, it goes back here. See, you guys can't see me, so it goes back here. All right, so you guys know how I feel about this. If you need to maximize the space, just go ahead, go to Walmart, go to Lowe's, Home Depot, get another one of these, put it there, and then you have two shelves, and you can fit all of the clothes that you have in there. But this is a nice size. It looks like a full-size bed. You have a full-size dresser, and you have two end tables. This is gonna face the side of the house, but let's go this way where we have a Jack and Jill bathroom when I was younger I always wanted a Jack and Joe bathroom don't ask oh you know why I think it is it's because of full house when the Olsen twins I feel like they in their bedroom they had a um I'm pretty sure they had a Jack and Jill bathroom wow that took did I just date myself I think I did so we have a double sink um we have for Micah countertops but again you can upgrade if you want it to be granite uh, quartz so that's really up to you this is this house is very customizable and then if you come this way we do have a linen closet we have four shelves which is going to be able to fit your um, towels and bed sheets and all of that good stuff but then come this way where we have the shower so we have a shower tub combination we have a window in here and we have the tiling so the tiling comes standard but it goes three ways of the quarter um, three quarters of the way up what I also love is that it has this pocket door here so if somebody's using the bathroom Bathroom, you can still go ahead and um, brush your teeth wash your hands and do whatever you need to do so come this way we are gonna call this bedroom number three so bedroom number three same looks to be about the same size we have the full size bed we have a dresser we have end tables and then we are still on the side of the house we have a lot of natural light coming in we also have the double door here but this seems to be blocking this is blocking it but um so this let me see this closet looks to be around the same size as bedroom number one no bedroom number two's closet i'm getting confused we already seen bedroom number one bedroom number two this is bedroom number three again maximize the space by adding another shelf carpets and then it is um it comes it doesn't come with the ceiling fan but it comes pre-wired for a ceiling fan okay so let's continue the tour and then i'm going to give you the dimensions of the room so that i do not forget all right so i got my handy dandy paper because i cannot just remember all of these numbers i have six kids i i just i can't ready okay so bedroom number one which can be either the office or the bedroom it is 11 by 12. now bedroom number two there is the the next one we've seen it is 10 by 12 and then bedroom number three that we just came out of is 10 by 12 as well so it's exactly these two are the same okay and then the owner suite is 17 by 15 which that's a really good size but let's come this way and this is the open floor plan open space you have the family room you can have it set up just like this they have a um a big sofa you have a table the end tables you have seating there 100 inch minimum tv you guys know how i feel about that again this is going to be pre-wired for a fan but it doesn't come with the fan in this model you have boost speakers but if you want to build from the ground up you can go ahead and install all of that as well 
but this is the family room and again so just as an fyi the standard features for this home would be carpet all throughout here except the uh, wet areas but if you're gonna buy a move-in ready home it all comes with the luxury vinyl planking and then the carpets in the bedroom but if you're building from the ground up and then the standard feature is going to be the carpet out here and then if you don't want carpet then you would just upgrade to a luxury vinyl planking or even tiling so come this way we have the master over here but we'll see that in just a minute i want to show you the dining room this has a okay so it has four seats but then it has the bench right here so it's it's set up for um six people it's a very nice size table for the space it's not too big it's not too small so you guys know how I feel. You do whatever fits your family needs. If you need a circular table, if you need a rectangular table, because they have those rectangular tables that you can fit two on each side and it fits eight um, people. So that's something that you can consider if you want to. But let's come this way for my favorite, favorite place in the house is the kitchen. Let's talk about this island you guys know i love islands because why i'm an island girl i sure am i'm from puerto rico i'm also from dominican republic and i was born and raised in staten island new york so when i see islands it just reminds me of being back home it reminds me of having my children surround the island i have six kids yes six my husband and i have three sons and then we were foster parents and we adopted a sibling group of three so we have four boys two girls i know one person left a comment i'm going to give you some shine right now one person left a comment on my youtube saying you can't be from three places but you can my mom is from puerto rico my dad is from dominican republic so i'm half puerto rican i'm half dominican and i was born and raised in staten island new york that's it all right so this is a huge island what do you guys think about this let me know i love it so standard for if you're building from the ground up it comes with formica countertops but if you're buying a move-in ready home it already comes with the quartz countertops okay you have a double stainless steel sink you have one of my favorite features the pull out faucet now in this model and the the agent for the builder he said that they try to have these three pendant pre wires here for like the move in ready homes, but they don't always have them. But then you do have these uh, recessed lighting. So let's talk about this kitchen. Right now we have 42 inch cabinets. They come 36 standard, but they try for the move in ready homes to have the 42 inch. So I'm just gonna speak what is in here right now okay because i don't want to keep going back and forth because then we're going to get super confused so this is 42 inch cabinets this is crown molding upgrades right it does not standardly come with um soft clothes but these are soft clothes soft clothes drawers we have the microwave over the electric stove all of the appliances are samsung now if you're doing a move-in ready home all of the appliances in the kitchen come with the home if you're doing a move uh, if you're building from the ground up the kitchen does not come with the home that's something that you would have to upgrade to but I love the space in between the um, this side and the island you don't you don't, you could have as many people in as but we don't we don't want too many people in the kitchen because you guys know when there's too many cooks in the kitchen is gonna if it's like a fire okay it, it doesn't end well so the only people we're gonna let in the kitchen is the people who could cook right and just invite me over so as you can see there's more than enough space here again we have drawers galore crown molding 42 inch we have the backsplash here this is just for the model this does not come with the home but again if you want to build from the ground up you can always just um have that customized and at the design center the design center is so much fun it's overwhelming but you get to pick everything that you want let's look at the refrigerator i love samsung appliances you guys know how i feel i open up everything because i want you guys to feel to see well you guys can't feel but i could feel it for you just to see how it looks inside if you like it all right now 
come on this way, we have a little area here, which would be perfect for a coffee station. For me, it's a little bit too small, but it could be like a nice Keurig, all of your cups, your mugs, and then maybe like your creamers and things like that. So to my left, we're gonna have the laundry room. It does come with this shelf here. I love this shelf. It just reminds me of the laundry mat going with my mom when I was younger. I started washing my own clothes at like in like the third grade. And then we would be at the laundry mat where they have all of the tables and you start folding and then you have all the carts and we used to play in the carts running around and then we get in trouble later on. So this is the washer and dryer, but it does not come with the house. You have a shelf on the top and for your laundry detergent and softener and all that good stuff you do have a entry to the garage is a two-car garage but they're using it as a um, office right now because this is a model so let's go into the pantry which is just off of the kitchen when you see this pantry this pantry it is it it's a walk-in pantry it is huge oh my goodness look at all the shelves when you if you want to after you close you can take out these shelves you could put wooden shelves you can customize it to however you want to but there is so much space in here i love it i love big pantries i love walk-in pantries so now what i want to do i just want to show you the covered lanai and you have the option of enclosing it if you want to after um after you close and then we'll go check out the master bed all right, did you guys love that pantry just as much as I did? I love big pantries. I have a big family, so I buy a lot of bulky things. How about you guys? Do you, do you love it? Let me know. So we have this sliding door, and what I love is that it has a screen as well. So if you wanted to, the nice cooler Munsel that we're in right now, you have a covered lanai. You can enclose this like how they have it, and then you can go ahead and just leave the door open and get a lot of that natural to um, air coming through. So this um, community is made up of several different builders. They have a, a resort style pool, they have a cabana, they have a tot lot playground, they have a dog park, they have a lot of pavilions and a lot of green space as well. So I'll go over the details in just a minute, but I definitely wanted to let you know that. Also what I wanna let you know, the best way to get in contact with me is gonna be to, there's a link, a Calendly link in my YouTube as well as the description. Just click on the link. You'll go ahead, choose if you're a builder, a seller, a buyer that wants to connect with me. Not only do I help my clients buy homes, but I help a lot of my clients sell homes as well. So just pick which one is for you and um, you'll schedule a time on my calendar. The reason why I do it like this is because I do a lot of negotiation for my clients. So I wanna make sure that I'm like head in to head deep into that and then when you call me i want to give you my undivided attention okay if you call me you could you're gonna get my assistant and she'll just schedule some time with you on my calendar as well so you either choose you call you'll get her and she'll schedule or you can just click the link and do it yourself up to you okay so let's continue the tour and we are going to check out the master bedroom Right now, it is super cool. Sometimes it's during the week, it's cold, it's warm. I'm like, make up your mind. So the master bedroom is off of the family room. We have tray ceilings. This is a nice size. I love it. So you have a full size dresser here. Do you guys still use the mirror above the dresser or do you just prefer it? no mirror so that you could put your TV there? I'm super curious because I know growing up, my mother always had the, the mirror above the the dresser but then she didn't have a TV in her room so I want to know what you guys do so we have a king size bed in here we have end tables we have a seating area as I mentioned the tray ceilings what I do love too it just feels so grand it they, it has double doors I love I love me some double doors so you have a double door entrance to the master bedroom so the master bedroom has two um, windows in it and it faces the back of the house so let's go check out the master bathroom and then we'll see the master walk-in closet.
Okay, so this is the master bathroom. Now in the master bathroom, you're gonna have the same flooring that you have in the main home, okay? So it's this wood-like vinyl plank flooring. You have the double sink with the four mica countertops. Again, if you wanted to, you can upgrade that if you're building from the ground up. Um, you have enough drawer space, enough cabinets as well. You also have a linen closet that has four shelves, enough room for your towels, blankets, and all that good stuff. Now you do have a step-in shower. You have tiling going three quarters of the way up. If you're building from the ground up, you can have the tiling going all the way up to the ceiling as well. This is a very nice size shower. Um, I am here for it, yes. All right, now we also have a separate water closet. If you didn't know what a water closet was, I, I didn't know it either until I went to Europe, but it's just um, where the toilet is, it, you have a door, okay? So you could do your business, your spouse could be out here brushing their teeth, doing whatever, or taking a shower. So this is the master bathroom, and then let's go check out the walk-in closet. All right, so we're gonna check out your walk-in master closet. It has a lot of space in here. You guys know how I always say, after you close, go ahead, just customize it to your needs, however you want. You could go on TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, get some great ideas. Go to Ikea, they have like a customizable closet, um, I don't know, design ideas and things like that. That's what my mother-in-law did and it looks great. It looks very, very custom. <laughs> um, you can also do like California closets or there's a lot of like different um, customizable closet companies that come in and do everything for you. So it's up to you. So what did you guys think about this house so far? Let me know. Let's go back to the kitchen where I'll go over all of the incentives. Currently, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go over the numbers here but we'll do that back at my office if I'm not able to go back, um, if I'm not able to do the numbers here. So let's go back to the kitchen. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my favorite place to be. So let's just talk about this neighborhood Davenport, the details of this property again. I know that I gave you a bunch of information. So we are in Davenport, Florida. We're literally, this community is literally five minutes away from I-4. This community is called Estonia and this builder is Highland Homes, okay? So they have 12 different floor plans that you can choose from. This this community specifically, their prices, their base prices start at $330,000. Now what's good about Highland Homes and most other bigger builders is that they build their same floor plans in different communities. So if you're looking for something with a lower base price, then we can go into maybe Haines City, Winter Haven, Lake Alfred, where you're definitely gonna have a lower base price. Davenport, Florida. Davenport is just up and coming. There's an abundance of new construction being built here. We just got BJ's, it's about to be, I think, yeah, this month makes a year that it's been open. We have Posner Park, where you're gonna find an abundance of stores such as Panera Bread that just opened, Starbucks, my favorite. First watch, that million dollar bacon, oh my goodness. Um, we have Ulta, we have Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Marshalls, um, Five and Below. My kids love Five and Below. We have the Exporting Goods, we have Target, we have um, a movie theater over here. Like I said, I-4 is literally five minutes away directly from this community where it's gonna take you about 40 minutes to get to downtown Orlando, about 45 minutes to an hour to get you to Tampa. So where we're located is central in between Orlando and Tampa. So it's a great location. Okay, so this floor plan is the Shelby. It's three to four bedrooms. So why I say that is because you can have the three bedrooms with the office or instead of the office, you just make it into a four bedroom. It has two and a half bathrooms. It's 2,029 square feet and it's a two car garage, okay? So this base price for the Shelby starts at 384,900. But again, they have 12 different floor plans. And in this community, the lowest base price is gonna be 330,000. Now, like I mentioned, we have a the pool, cabana, tot lot, playground, we have a dog park, we have multiple 
pavilions and open play area. This community does have an HOA, it's $180 annually, and it has a CDD of about $170 per month, okay? So this is a very, very nice area, but like I said, if you're looking for something that's just a little bit less, um, a little bit lower base price, then we can go ahead and um, explore the different communities that Highland Home has. I don't only cover Central, um, <laughs> I don't only cover Davenport, I cover all of Central Florida, including Haines City, Winter Haven, Lakeland, uh, Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Lake Nona, Ocala, Florida. A lot of my videos um, are just around Central Florida and the surrounding areas. So right now, all of their incentives, so these incentive, incentives are geared towards their move-in ready home. So just as an FYI, the best deal you're gonna get is when they have their move in ready homes because they're trying to sell it okay so right now they have a rate buy down um, they also have all closing costs and prepaids covered okay and the deposit to put down on a home is only twenty five hundred dollars when other builders they have if it's you're using an FHA then you have to put 3.5 percent down for a down payment so Highland Homes in this community specifically the deposit is twenty five hundred and the remaining balance is due at closing. So I don't know, I have 15 minutes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to do our numbers really quick just so that I can give you idea of what the down payment and closing costs are gonna look like. All right, so I am squeezing this in because I wanna make sure I get it done today. You know how they say when you wanna get something done, you get it done right then and there. Okay, so this is Monarch School of Real Estate. If you guys have been following me, you guys know that I love to do this. I love to educate you guys and just give you an estimate. Now, a couple of disclaimers. Number one, I am not a mortgage lender. I'm not a licensed mortgage lender. I'm just giving you rough numbers, okay? So don't go to the lender and be like, well, Alexa said it was gonna be this. This is just a rough number. Number two, these are Highland Homes um, numbers right now. They constantly change. The base price changes, their um, moving ready homes change, right? So I'm just going based on what their numbers are today. So you can't show them a video and like, hey, Alexa said that the, the house is priced at $350,000. No, this is just what the numbers are today. They constantly change, okay? So just FYI. Now, I'm going based on a number that they have right now for a move-in ready home. This is for one of their floor plans. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's called the Parson and it's 1545 square feet, two car garage. They don't have, right now, they don't have any move-in ready homes for this specific floor plan, the Shelby. So I wanted to see, I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of numbers. So I just went based on the, the Parson, which is 367.95. But this is, you could do with any numbers that I, you know, the, the numbers that the house costs, right? So if the house costs is $400,000, then you could just do 3.5% of 400,000. It's going to give you the, the numbers that you need. Okay. So the numbers we're going to go based on is 367.95. Again, the best deal you're going to get is move in ready homes. So FHA is a, we're going to talk about a few different uh, loan options. So we have FHA, we have conventional, we have VA, and then we're going to talk cash. So FHA, the minimum down payment is three and a half percent. So if we do three and a half percent of the axing price of three sixty seven nine five, we get twelve thousand six hundred and twenty seven dollars and eighty three cents. Now, when you're buying a home, you also have to think about closing costs. What are closing costs? Closing costs and accumulation of fees such as loan origination fees, title fees, um, doc stamps, transfer fees, prorated tax taxes, prorated HOA, etc. Usually about three to four percent. I like to be super reserved and I go four percent. So four percent of three hundred and sixty thousand seven nine five is fourteen thousand four hundred and thirty one dollars and eighty cents. Now if we add the two up our cash to close which you would hear that's a real estate term cash to close which means what you need at the closing table in order to close on the house is twenty seven thousand fifty nine dollars and sixty three cents. But remember if you use Highland Homes preferred lender they are covering all of the closing costs and prepaids. So you don't even have to pay that and 
all you have to worry about is the down payment. So $12,000. That's just if you want to use their lender and take care of their incentives. Okay. So next the conventional loan is what we're going to talk about. You may qualify for a 3% as a first time home buyer. That is 3% off of the 3% of 36795 is 10,823.85. Same closing cost, cash to close of $25,255.65. The next tier from 3% is 5%. 5% 5 of 36795 is $18,039.75. You have the same closing cost, so it gives us a cash to close of $32,471.55. Now the next tier is 10%. Alexis, why would I pay 10%? The reason why you're gonna pay 10% is if you're using this home as a second home. So let's say you live in New York and you are gonna retire in a few years, but you wanna buy a house now, that's gonna be considered a second home. Let's say you eventually, you're still working in New York, and you're gonna eventually move to Florida, maybe within the couple of the next couple of months, but you still work in New York, it's gonna be considered a second home. Even if you're renting at the time, right? The reason why it's gonna be considered a second home is because you don't primarily work in Florida. Now, if you work from home, then by all means, it could be your primary residence. But if you're still working from New York, the bank is gonna be like, there's no way you're gonna use this Florida home as a primary residence and still work and have to commute every day to New York. It just doesn't make sense, okay? So that's why you would pay 10%. The next tier is 20%. Why would I pay 20%? You're gonna pay 20% if you wanna use this as an investment property which you can as a long-term rental um, property or if you want to avoid private mortgage insurance then you could put 20 percent down and that is going to be seventy two thousand one hundred and fifty nine dollars same closing cost which gives us a cash to close of eighty six thousand five ninety and eighty cents now remember guys if you're using their lender you don't have to pay these closing costs nope nope Nope. All right. And then all you have to worry about is the down payment. That's it. Okay. Now VA, thank you for everyone who has served our country. I truly, truly appreciate you and your family. You get a hundred percent financing. All you have to worry about is the closing costs. But if you're using their preferred lender, nothing. What you still have to do is that you're still going to have to give in that 2,500 uh, deposit to hold the house when you go under contract, but then you'll receive that as a check at the closing table because they're going to pay all of your closing costs and you get a hundred percent financing. All right. So cash, cash, you're still going to have closing costs, but they're not going to be as much because you don't have any lender origination fees. So I estimate it to be around six to $8,000. But again, it's, they're paying that closing cost. So essentially all you have to do is just pay for the price of the home. Now, again, this is only the, this is what the incentives are right now. This is what the prices are right now. It could always change, okay? I just wanna make sure that I'm super clear on that. And then taxes, this is an estimate because I am not a tax appraiser. The builder doesn't even know what the taxes are gonna be, but they do have a tax rate. So the taxes are estimated to be around $4,800 per year. Okay, so I know I went through that pretty freaking fast. <laughs> what I wanted to make sure that you guys got this, remember CDD is about $170 per month. HOA is about, a hundred. no, it is $180 per year. But again, um, this is what I love to do. Look at my other videos in my channel. I cover all of Central Florida. So if you're looking for homes in Ocala, St. Cloud, Davenport, Haines City, just look at my um, YouTube channel and um, I hope you enjoy my videos and stay tuned to the next one.